What's up, everybody? Sin here. Welcome to the Send In, and I am back. I know it's been a hot minute, but con time, so got to drop a con video, you know, ECCC, virtual con. Um, got everything I wanted. Um, I had a friend, the reasonable gentleman, got the lotto as he posted. Uh, a couple of the pops I wanted, he didn't want. Um, he helped out several friends with his lotto, thankfully. Um, got a few things taken out of this cart, which is a bummer, but, uh, we're going to talk about what I got. Um, his pops that he got me will be coming in, a, they'll be in a separate video. Huge thank you to the reasonable gentleman. We're going to talk about my ECC pops and why I ordered from my favorite company, Epic Collectibles. I'm telling you, I stand behind these guys 100%, and I normally would not do that. Uh, if you did not know, they also ship to Canada, so U.S. and Canadian shipping. Uh, now, my reasons for ordering from Epic, one, let's go with shipping. Some of you may have seen my video a while back where I got my 10-inch Skeletor from GameStop. Looked like a harpoon went through it. The box was so damaged and molded to, to Skeletor, I had to rip it apart. He has a huge gash in his thick-ass vinyl leg that it was damaged so bad. Why would I want to order a pop from him? Okay, let's move on to Walmart. Because you know i got to have the Masters of the Universe. Some of you may have seen my video on Pennywise that I had shipped to the store. Came in a bag, no sorter, no nothing. Damaged all to hell. All they do is give me my money back. Now we're left with Walgreens. I've never ordered from Walgreens, and I've never heard anything good about Walgreens. I've heard of canceled orders. I've heard of damage upon damage upon damage. Almost as bad as pop in the box. Um, so why in the world would I even chance my con pops from them? So I went to Epic Collectibles to get all mine. Plus, I got one off the Funko shop that was not there the next day. I mean, I had no other place to get it. Funko was where it was shared, so and it was sold out. So I had to go somewhere else. So I got four pops here, combined shipping. And, yeah, we're going to start with the first one. I already opened this one because we, we ordered a couple of these. Me and the guys, and they had just had them shipped here. The second reason, all of these pops come in soft protectors. They're almost like the Chalice. I don't know if they're 0.5 or 0.6. They're all embossed Epic Collectibles. I am actually trying to get them to sell these. I really like these protectors a lot. The lid is a lot sturdier and firmer than the other ones. Um, the edges are nice. It's great. But we have Spider-Man. 2099 mint condition can't really see it too well with the glare and the blank ass cardboard behind the pop if you can see so fucking ridiculous Funko's that lazy so if we look at the side of the pop you can actually see the whole pop you can see he has a cape couldn't really tell that from looking at the front but yeah you can see he has a cape it's a fucking awesome pop Pretty plain, plain background. They could have done more with this. I mean, the panel behind him, the comic panel is kind of cool. But, yeah, so we got this, this one. Then we go on to the next one. This one, I believe, was... I actually had to go back and reorder this one because I didn't want it. At, I was like, no, I'm not going to get it. And I was like, yeah, I better get it. I actually want it. So this is the only one I paid separate shipping on, which I'm still fine with. The shipping was four ninety eight, five bucks for one pop. Not bad at all. This one was shared on the Funko shop. It was not there the next day for people with no lotto. So I had no chance to get it. 
but to go to another retail and cheaper than eBay prices I got the green Yoda I believe it's the military green Yoda very awesome pop uh, this one they did put the uh, I believe it's the rebel background you can barely see it back there with the light sorry there's Yoda that's what's in the background behind him this one actually has one but like I said again sweet ass soft protector epiccollectibles.com killer mystery boxes great deals um, and yeah you pay a little more but so fucking what I mean I don't have to worry about damage I have yet to receive a damage pop from them and I've had eleven orders ten orders ten or eleven orders now one damage pop now we're on to my last two, which, uh, I'm trying to think, where was the other one shared? Where were the more? Oh, yeah. Both of these have fucked me in the past. GameStop and Walmart. So why would I go back to them to order a pop? Wrapped in bubble wrap. What we have for the zombie set, Zombie Morbius. Really cool pop. Like the hole in the chest. Um, zombie set. Gotta have them. Gotta have the 4 inch. I'm not doing the 8 inch. I'm doing the 4 inch. But yeah. Looking, this pop is sick. And then. The one my wife calls Spider Dog. <laughs> we have the Masters of the Universe. Managing. Or whatever the fuck his name is. In this house, it's spider dog. I don't know why. Doesn't look like a dog to me. Or... But yeah, every pop, I had a total of eight pops delivered here from ECCC. Every pop perfectly packaged, wrapped in bubble wrap, in soft protectors, in boxes that fit them, brand new boxes, not reused. Fair shipping prices. And yeah, I paid maybe $10 or $20 more on one. Mostly $10 more a pop for the security of getting A, a well shipped product, B, a non damaged product, a free soft protector. I mean, you can't beat them, guys. If you're not checking out Epic Collectibles, check them out. They just put on their. Uh, Instagram page he's going to be dropping a mystery box with the Imperial Palace Batman Robin Joker and Harley I believe the overseas China or Japan version the limited 3,000 pieces uh, he did say in his comments that the boxes have minor damage due to the cheapness of the boxes which I've heard several other people say before too so um, I'm looking forward to those. I'll be grabbing one. Y'all should grab one too. I mean, this company rocks. I have yet to hear anyone that didn't get their value. You see every pop that you could possibly get. I mean, how can you go wrong if you know what you're going to get? And that's always been one of my biggest bitches. I know one of the TRGs, the Reasonable Gentlemen's. Um, I could list my whole group of friends that we all think the same thing that if you have a box run of 500 and you show 30 pops and you got 300 fucking Naruto's that everybody in the world's pulling I mean that's just crap if you're doing a 150 box run and you show 30 pops and that's what's in the boxes then you know what you're getting and you know the value of the pop before you even get it so you can check the value of every single pop and decide if it's worth it. I, for one, have never gotten a bad box. TRG's never gotten a bad box. Brian Henry Jeep a pop never gotten a bad box. Just Call Me D never gotten a bad box. B Cobb never gotten a bad box. Um, yeah, the whole crew. So we stand behind Epic 100%. And if you haven't checked them out, go check them out. Uh, 
thanks for the and, and fast shipping. Uh, I had one box that was held up in my regional facility in Detroit. It's a crappy. It always gets stuck there. But I had my boxes, I believe, Saturday. All but one. I had to wait till Monday to get. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, if you're not checking them out, you're losing out. That's all I can say. But let's get into some music, shall we? It's 10 minutes in. Uh... <coughs> And maybe for having performance issues and stuff. Anyway, music. We're going to go with, uh, I forget the name of this band. I think it's Theory of a Dead Man, Rx. The song's called Rx. This is our. So uh, give this one a check out. We have been feeling this mood kind of a little bit lately. There's a lot going on. And for rap, we're going to go with the controversial man himself, Tom McDonald, with his brand new one, Clown. So give them both a check out. Make sure to stay to the end. I think I'm going to throw some of my Final Fantasy character in there. Um, just for shits and giggles. So, Hey, if you're not subscribed, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Um, if you want to be notified when I drop a video, ring the bell. Leave a comment. Tell me what you thought of ECCC. Tell me what you think of having to pay just a little extra to get security and shipping and packaging. And protectors and not have to worry about damage i mean do you want to order from walgreens do you want to have shipping from walmart i don't but until next time stay safe and if it ain't yours don't fucking destroy it enjoy the pictures mm -hmm.